everyone guys in this video we are going to see how to find the line integral of a vector function here we have a vector function that's given by sin xi cos, cos yj and xck and also we have a r of t function and when we do the line integral what we have to do is we have to replace this x y c with r of t function and also we have to find the derivative of this r of t function and we have to do the dot product between these two functions now here we have the x y z values now let's go ahead and write this one down x is equal to t cube y is equal to t square and then z is equal to t okay and we have to find the derivative of this one because we need r prime of t function to write that function we have to have the derivative of this one first let's take the derivative of x we are going to take the derivative of this one respect to t so dx by dt that's going to be equal to 3t square and if you do the derivative of y respect to t that's going to give you 2t and if you do the derivative of z respect to t that's going to give you 1 okay now we have the derivative and these values now first thing is now we can go ahead and write our integral the limits of integration is going to be 0 to 1 that's provided 0 to 1 then we have to write the f of r of t function now what we are going to do is we are going to bring this f of x y z function and instead of this x y z values we are going to replace this t cube t square and t now let's go ahead and write the one here we are going to have sine instead of x i am plugging this t cube so this is going to be sine t cube i plus cos and instead of y i am plugging t square so this is going to be cos t square j and instead of x z we are going to multiply t cube and t that's going to give us t power 4 in the k direction now we have the f of r r of t function now we have to find the r prime of t function since we have the derivative already we can directly write that function so this is going to be dot of this r of t function r of t function is going to be 3t square in the i direction and then 2t in the j direction and we have 1 in the k direction and we have to do the dot product and when you do the dot product the vector will be eliminated so we will only have scalar quantities right so sine t cube times 3t square so this is i okay this is i sine t cube times 3t square that's going to give us 3t square sine t cube and this uh, vector quantity will be eliminated this i will eliminate it i will be eliminated then we are going to multiply cos t square times 2t so this is going to give us 2t cos t square and then we are going to multiply t power 4 times 1 that's going to be just t power 4 okay now we are going to integrate this one respect to t now if you look at this one this sine t cube and this cos t square we can do the u substitution because we have the derivative outside so we can do the u substitution for t power 4 we can directly do the integration right now let's uh, write this integral separately like integration of 0 to 1 3t square sine t cube respect to t we are going to integrate respect to t and then we are going to have integration of 2t cos t square respect to t then we are going to integrate t power 4 respect to t all of them are from 0 to 1 0 to 1 now here we can do the u substitution so let's take u is equal to t cube so d u is going to be equal to 3t square okay now since we are going to replace yeah we can directly and this is going to be dt we can directly replace 3 3t square dt with d u and since we have used u already here let's use w so let's say w is equal to t square so the dw is going to be 2t dt and here we can do the integration directly now let's do the integration for this one now the limits of integration is going to be same because if you look at this one if we plug 0 for this t cube that's going to be 0 and if we plug 1 for this t cube that's going to be just 1 so we can the, in, the new limits of integration is still going to be same so that's going to be 0 to 1 and here instead of sine t cube we are going to have sine u sine u then instead of 3t square dt we replace that one with d u so here we are going to have d u plus in the other side we have 0 to 1 
and instead of cos t square we are going to have cos w and then instead of uh, 2t dt we are going to replace that one with dw and here we have t power 4 dt and if we integrate this one that's going to be t power 5 divided by 5 and that's going from 0 to 1 and that's it now let's do the in integration for these two and if you integrate a sine u that's going to give you negative cos u negative cos u and that's going from 0 to 1 and here we are going to have if you integrate cos w that's going to give you sine w and sine w is going from 0 to 1 and here we, we are going to have t power 5 over 5 and that's also going from 0 to 1 okay now let's continue this one here now before we do the substitution this 0 1 substitution let's write everything together in that way everything will be easier right now let's write everything together first we have let's write sine w first so sine w minus cos w well cos u then we have t power 5 over 5 t power 5 over 5 all of them are going from 0 to 1 okay now let's plug 1 first if you plug 1 this is going to be just sine 1 sine 1 minus cos 1 then we have plus 1 over 5 then if we plug 0 sine 0 is going to be 0 so we can just leave it then let's put 0 okay then cos 0 is going to be 1 since we have negative this is going to be negative 1 then t power 5 that's going to be 0 power 5 that's still going to be 0 so that's going to be just plus plus 0 now let's simplify this one this is going to be sine 1 minus cos 1 plus 1 over 5 minus minus 1 that's going to be plus 1 and uh, minus, plus 1 is 1 is equal to 5 over 5 right instead of 1 we can write 5 over 5 in that way we can add them together so 5 over 5 plus 1 over 5 that's going to be 6 over 5 so final answer is going to be sine 1 minus cos 1 plus 6 over 5 and that's going to be the line integra integral of this vector function. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.